this video is about how to draw scatter graph scatter graph is one of the best graph in origin it is different than line graph i will also show some additional feature those feature will impress your reviewer your editor when you put those diagrams those graphs in your thesis or research article or any other presentations they will definitely impress the audience so let's see how we can draw scatter graph in origin let's go to origin here and this is uh, the data i have selected one uh, x y x y x y this means this data is for three graphs i am comparing all these three graphs just select it here and just go to plot and under the symbols there is a scattered when you select the scattered when you want to do changes in this graph just select graphs you will see the changes uh, appearing here and when you double click a window will appear here okay this is the way when you want to do changes in this outside borders double click on the border a window will appear now this window i explain many times in my videos that it depends on you how you deal with your graphs how you can make it more attractive just go to grid line from grid line you will just use the borders for example this is the vertical one this one and opposite to vertical you want major uh, grid line uh, sorry uh, this is the vertical here and you want the opposite to vertical here so you can select you see here this is very nice and horizontal is this one and you want the opposite to that so you can put here vertical, you see and if you want to have uh, uh, minor text labels or major text label those you can make if you wish for example for the top here you want to show labels major labels so it will it will appear here you see but we do not want on the top on the uh, uh, right side now let's go to uh, this this let's go to the features of scattered graphs here so you can see that it is now under dependent if you go to group and the dependent for example if i want to go to symbols and i want to uh, uh, see uh, this the change the thickness of the symbol for example if i want to make it three it will apply on all you see if you want to make it uh, one here you see it will apply on all and this the colors are just uh, by default you see from here you can change from here one by one uh, but it is very hard now what I am going to do you just need you can maximize and minimize this window by this way here if you click on this one so this means that there are three lines three scatter lines and these three scatter lines are here you see here now when you go to group here i am making this independent when i click this independent now now i can change individual for example let's go to this is it is on the plus one here let's go to symbol here now look look it is very very interesting now now i want to increase the size of this one here let's make it this 12 you will see the changes here you see and the black let make it a little bit uh, smaller here let's make it eight here now look here this is now square here and i want to change this one now it's very easy i want to make it star here you see now it's star and interior what i want the star interior it should be hollow i am interested in hollow you see it looks very beautiful and i want to change the color so individual i can change the color I mean, let's make this uh, red stars are red or let's make this uh, yellow type stuff uh, uh, make this yellow you see here if it does not look like well very well so you just make it uh, red and we'll change the letter the next one this is you how, how we change now inside the interior if you want to uh, make this bigger or smaller you just you change from here you see you can further make it uh, uh, smaller if you make it 30 or something so you make it uh, more smaller 
the interiors okay this is how now let's go to another one here and go to symbol here in the sizes let's make this five here in the color just we need to change this let me make this green here and the circle uh, if i want to replace the circle with this pentagon the supply here you see you see the pentagon in the interior i want this dot center it's a very clear difference let's increase this size so you will see yeah it's very beautiful you see now let's come to the third one here the size is keep this size is 12 here and let's change me this color to some uh, different color and uh, make this orange color if it were it works i think and let's uh, make the interior uh, something like this half fill in half and let's change this shape to uh, uh, this diamond you see now uh, these are very nice colors here and uh, you can easily differentiate uh, between all these three things here so uh, using uh, 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 the concept of dependent and independent when you select independent you can deal with each and every graph very easily okay this is how it works here so this is uh, the difference uh, between when you are working with independent and when you are working in independent supply okay here and now let's you you change this something select this one and uh, click board here and increase the size if you want to change the font size everything everything is there and let's write here right here uh, some world to see this is intensity and the unit is arbitrary unit for example if you want to keep let's make this group more attractive just i want to show you how it will look like uh, attractive and here just write here range or something to make it uh, easy here and this is a nanometer or whatever here so i mean that to make this graph more attractive how it will look like uh, uh, more attractive you see here so it is now in a good shape here and bring this here and select this you can give name here this is nano particles for example this one is uh, nano wires and this is for example uh, uh, nano rods okay this is all you select this and you can also make this board here and make it more interesting you see here now this is how your graph looks like do you think that this is not a good graph this is very very good graph and this will definitely impress the examiner if you wish to make this uh, uh, smaller here uh, so let's just make this smaller here and make it i think uh, eight also so it will look like uh, much nicer one and this is a very nice graph now now you want to copy this just control c uh, sorry just click control j are uh, using sniffing tool here and copy uh, in that just using sniffing tool uh, you can also uh, use sniffing tool to copy this graph or uh, you can use control j you just use the sniffing tool you see here and you can copy in it's very easy how to uh, work uh, in origin uh, you must need time to give time uh, to uh, work in uh, origin and you must need to work on those uh, uh, parameters just control uh, v here and you see your graph will be here very nice way uh, how to draw your graphs in origin thanks for watching and there are so many additional features you just need to play with those uh, windows when you double click on something it will open that particular window if you feel any difficulty do not hesitate to contact me and i will work for you thanks for watching